and I, 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 I got a call from Danny. Uh, it was a Saturday, I believe. It might have been a Sunday. I know it was a weekend, and it was mid morning. And I got a call from Danny. He wanted to talk, and, and so I drove out. He was he was staying on uh, at a in the basement apartment of a home Greg Jacobson and his wife owned on Benedict Canyon Drive, which was literally closer to sunset on the south end of Benedict Canyon. Denny and his first wife, Carol, lived on Benedict Canyon also, but they lived further up, going towards Mulholland Drive and heading towards the valley. And this was down closer to sunset, and Denny was in this garage apartment by himself, and he just wanted to talk, and so we're, you know, we're talking about upcoming gigs and touring and, you know, music and going into the studio, and all, all of a sudden I get this phone call, and I'm hearing one end of it, you know, yes, uh-huh, all right, okay, you know, and he hangs up, and he hangs up, and I didn't think anything of it, and he said, uh, he said, this guy's coming over, uh, it won't be, it won't take very long, and then we'll, we'll, you know, go out to lunch or do something, and, and I said, okay, so, you know, my, maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes later, I'm thinking, this guy comes up, arrives, he's in a Jeep, and it's parked out in front of Greg's home, and he comes in, and he didn't hardly say any words. He just, um, he said, you know, we need clothes. And he walked over to Denny's wardrobe closet and he just took his arm across the hangers and gathered up probably, you know, 10 or 15 shirts and jeans and slacks, put them in his arm, walked out, got into the Jeep and drove off. And I just looked at Denny like, who was that guy? And Denny said, Fred, you don't want to know. Well, the guy was Charlie Manson. And uh, I was face to face with evil. It was Charlie Manson, probably a month or so before the Tate LaBianca murders. And um, you know, it, it still haunts me. I still get goosebumps when I think about it. But what they said about Manson was true. I mean, he just had this evil look. He had these piercing eyes. To me, he was just, you know, what do you, what do you want to call him? He, he just took advantage of people. You know, he used his persona to take advantage of people, to cast a spell on people. But he was evil. There's no question about it. And within a month or two, the world would find out just how evil he was with the Tate and LaBianca murders and Sherry.